G'day everyone, Envy here and we're back with some more MTG Arena. Today we're playing Death Touch Cavalcade in Historic. This is a Death Touch deck and it is in the colours of, what is this colour again? I think it's Jund, yes, Jund is the right word for red, black and green. Now, we are using a lot of small Death Touch creatures and Hooded Blightfang to deal a lot of damage and gain some life to keep our opponent at bay. We are also running Cavalcade of Calamity to give our creatures a bit of a boost as well. Now, when I first made this Death Touch deck, I did have the Planeswalker Vraska from War of the Spark, which put counters on all your which put counters on your Death Touch creatures when they dealt damage. Now, this is a great card. However, it did mess up our Cavalcade of Calamity ability, so I decided to remove it and strictly for a more of spam the board with small creatures and swing to win. So let's look at the creatures and let's look at some of the other pieces. For Vampire of the Dire Moon, it has Death Touch and Lifelink, probably the best of the small 1-1 creatures you can get for the deck. Uh, for Moss Viper with Death Touch, for Sedge Scorpion with Death Touch, and for Taraju Blightblade with Death Touch. There are other ones you can take uh, in the deck, so you can pick whatever ones you want, but I chose these mostly because this is a snake, this is a scorpion, this is just a dude with, with the blade. <laughs> what can go wrong? We are also running 3 Eliminate to get rid of small creatures that get in our way we don't like, for Calvocated Calamity, for the ability to deal more damage when we attack. 2 Chevelle Bane of Monsters. So, um, I'll get into the little combo of him in a moment, but he does put a counter on a creature or planeswalker, and when that creature dies, or planeswalker dies, you gain 3 life and draw a card. Now, I'll, I'll cycle this guy up soon. So, then we've got 4 Hooded Blightfang. Uh, for those who aren't aware, whenever you attack with a creature, um, a Death Touch creature attacks, your opponent loses 1 life and you gain 1 life, and when you deal damage to a planeswalker with any amount of damage, you kill that planeswalker. Now, here's a really cool thing you can do with this. Um, with Hooded Blightfang out, just Bullet Fight and Cavalcade, every time you swing at someone, you deal 2 damage and you gain 1 life. If you have a whole bunch of them on the field, you can do a lot, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage in one go, which is really neat. Now, I said I mentioned Chevelle's ability and the combo. That goes with Porky Parrot here. And Porky Parrot is one of my favorite mutating cards because I use him in a lot of infinite combos, but he's also really good in a Death Touch deck. So when he mutates, you can tap him and he deals X damage to any target. Now, it deals damage based on his ability. If you mutate him over a Death Touch creature, which is why I've chosen these ones, because every Death Touch creature apart from Spell is non, a non-human, which you need for mutating, you can tap, deal any damage to any creature, and it will die because you have Death Touch. Now, you just tap and target the creature that has the bounty counter on it, and you get to draw a card and kill a creature and gain a life every turn, which is pretty neat. We're also running four collected companies, since all our creatures, apart from Porky Parrot, uh, fit into the combo. Now, the idea with collected companies, we want to hit Hooded Blackfang. We we set that we go turn one, turn two, turn three, and just keep putting small creatures down, you know, six or seven small creatures. Collected company gets a bunch of Hooded Blackfangs, then we swing to win in one go, and that's just the idea of the deck. And lastly, two Moldavine Reclamation, just if they do trade creature for creature we get to get some value out of it so when they sacrifice their creatures against our death touch creatures we also get to gain life and draw a card which is pretty cool as for the lands we are only running 23 lands in the deck because the converted mana cost is quite low it's quite a nice little pyramid here one swamp, one mountain, four forest, four blood crypt, one dragon's Hall summit, four overgrown tomb, four woodland cemetery, one stomping ground, and three fable passage. And that is the deck. It's pretty fun. It's it's an interesting deck, and I really enjoy it. So let's go play some historic and see how we do with Death Touch Cavalcade. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Um, going first. Sure. We're going to go find ourselves a green land. And then we can play two of these guys. I'm going to go flip this out. Grab myself a green land. My turn. Perfect. Oh, that's nice. Okay, pay two life on that one. Bright Blade. Vampire Die Moon. Now he knows we're playing Death Touch. That's okay. <clears throat> Dreadhorde Butcher. 
If he's gonna take out the rest of my guys. Ugh, that's annoying. Yep, sure. Now he'll die, he'll take out the other one. That's unfortunate. Hmm. New Blight Blade. No lands. That was unf that's not good. I reckon he's gonna play Croxer. No, he can't play Croxer, can he? He can. Cranko. Interesting. Oh, these are death touches, so that's pretty good at least. Alright, better do life. Go with a blight pang. Let's go. Block. Oh, he is blocking. Death touch gets rid of him. Ooh, dealt damage. But that still's gonna get you. Hmm. When we dealt that prevent. If damage we dealt to him, hmm. Alright, let's just leave him. We go collect a company and then play them. Alright. Are you gonna exile Cranko? No, Dreadhorde. Alright. But even if it dies, it will do one damage. Yeah, I'll, I'll block block him. Yeah, he dies. Hmm. Ow, you got me. Did you hit me with it? Oh. Oh my. That is that is very nice. All right, Piper. Scorpion. Go. That's going to trigger nine times, right? Yeah. Is it seven? Why is he going to board wipe me? Garuda. Did he hit anything? Horned of Hightower. Mm, I really don't think there's enough to win. Um... He hits me for six damage. I don't care. I've got Hooded Blightfang, who's gonna do his thing. And just scoop them, that's fine. Alright, opponent gone first. Um this is okay. Yeah, I can live with this. Alright, let's go. Ooh, I'm about to play. I was about to play with no cards, so that was good. Good thing I didn't do that. Alright, Demir is always fun. Now, I reckon I'm going to face a Counterspell. Oh, no Counterspell. Interesting. That's good. Well, let's go. Do some damage. Jace Mirror Mage. Where's the next puzzle? Oh, he gets a he gets a count on him. All right, here's my plan. I can mutate onto him. Hmm. If I mutate onto him, then I can do the damage. And that's four, but that won't kill him. Let's do it. I want to get this party started, so I'm going to go with Mutate on Tataru. Over the top. Let's go hit him. Down to one. Red Hood Invasion, very nice. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, Collected Company is very good. Alright, you go into him, you go into him. Let's go. He dies. Perfect. I get free life and draw a card. Very nice. And pass the turn. Sure, you get a guy.
Not that he can do much. Oh, he got watery. Great. Very nice. Scry. Draw a card. Reveal it. Mm. Mm, someone's confident in themselves. Gadwick the Wizened. Collected company. Let's go. Oh, yes. I'll take you too. Well, I guess it's my turn now. Look what I got. You can go on you. Now, why we do this is for this reason. I can tap and hit Gadwick. Now he dies. And I get to draw a card. And that's fun. Now, I am going to combat. We are all going to... You two are going to attack. I want to keep my vipers up for a little bit longer. I'm going to play my my blade, and I'll play another vampire. And our turn. Oh, we got a bit bigger. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, go back. Go, Moss Vapor. Another one. Dealing with you, we see perish the thought. Uh, Porky Parrot. Alright, we're going to play against the Static 83, Lurus the Dream Den. Mm, two things, this this could be fine, and collect a company. So, we'll probably just keep this hand. It's got a lot of potential to swarm the opponent with a bunch of death touch creatures. Depending on what our opponent plays, they're playing Lurus. What kind of Lurus deck are they playing, though? If it's an Aura deck, which it looks like it is... We may be able to destroy that. All right. All right. So it's two selfless saviors, which is always fun. <clears throat> nope. I just I don't mind you doing damage to me. It's all good, man. All right. I'll do this. Play my blight braid and another blight blade. I don't think he'll block. No, that means give me life back. Yeah, okay, so I know what we're versing. I see what's happening here. Uh, ooh, pay the two life on that one. Play the Blight Blade. Now, I'm fairly certain he won't block anything. But I will keep one my one black blade up and running. The idea is he wants to make this guy big. Now, I don't know if he's gonna block for this. Probably not. Nope, he doesn't block. Now, do I want to waste one of these things? Let's see what he does. I want to waste his selfless saviors. Ah, okay, beautiful. That's me going for the scram on that one. He's going to sack one of his selfless saviors to keep scram alive. Sure, man. Yep, that's fine. Fizzles out. He gets to draw a card. <coughs> I feel like this is mono white enchantments. Now he can't. He can swing, and I'll let him swing if he does. Vigilance. Ooh, and first. Is he a first? Oh, first strike as well. Hmm. Combat damage. Oh, maybe he didn't realize he had first strike. 
Alright, we'll go over this one. Pass turn. We're going to try hit Collected Company. Alright, that's he's going to get a bunch of cards, but... He has to swing with it, he get, loses it, right? Why would he play that one? <coughs> oh, with the decree. Well, I'm gonna go with this now. Oh yes, that's very nice. <laughs> he just went for the running then. <laughs> This is a, a hand that we can use. We've got turn one, turn two, turn three, and turn four. So you know what? I, I can live with this, but our opponent does get to go first. A guild gate. Hmm. That's not the greatest thing in the world, but you know, we do what we can with what we've got. Vampire die moon away. Alright, so it's Orzov. Soul Warden. Ooh, I don't want that thing in my life at all. So, let's go with the... Can't play both. Let's go Woodland Cemetery. Let's play Cavalcade of Calamity. You can block or not. Oh, he is going to block. Alright, cool. That takes out Soul Warden. It's not a fun card to verse. Hollow Priest. It's also not a fun card to verse. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. it's pay two life on this guy and play both of these play this one and then pay another land collect a company and then play hooded blightfang that's that's the that's the play those ones don't give you stuff all right I'm gonna pay the two life in here. Pay this one, play this one. Play this one. And then we're gonna go with two of these guys. Now that gives him trample and lifelink. So let's go with these, do some damage, and next turn we can collect a company and get more guys. All right, well he lost that, so he's gonna put on Shadow Spear. Ah, I guess he thinks since he's flying, I can't stop him. I can't really. But I'm going to do a ton more damage than you can imagine, man. Go and block one. Well, there goes Hollow Priest. Ten. And turn. I do have removal from Bloodthirsty Errorless, so I'm not too collect a company away. Come on, hit something. Oh yes, that's nice. What else did I hit? Nothing of note. Nothing of worthy note. Ooh, you're making your guys bigger. How nice is that? You're gonna put some blockies up there. You're not gonna get that much life, my dude. So don't be too don't be too proud of yourself. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty much done. That's twelve damage. He has to block now. No, that's that's GG. He can't. That's GG. Good game, my friend. Pew! Hey everybody, welcome back. So, yeah, we managed to win a few games there. We got our 
collector company did some real work in there. Didn't see Moldavine Reclamation, but that's okay. When you do play it, it is a pretty cool enchantment because we do get a lot of value out of it. So um, I, I like it a lot. But anyway, that was the deck for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, maybe even hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all new decks that I do make. I do put a new deck out every second day. If you enjoyed this deck, let me know what you liked about it in the comment section below. And if you have any other suggestions for future decks or ways to improve this deck or, or anything on your mind, leave it also in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate all your support. And before I say I'll see you again next time, just letting you know that the um, if you don't already know, because you probably kept up to date, the new set is dropping at the end of the month. I am very excited for this new set. I've been writing down, I think, at last check. Let me just check. Uh, my book has 30, 32 new ideas for decks, both in historic and standard. So I'm going to have a lot of fun crafting those, uh, testing those, and bringing them out to you guys at, as soon as I can. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate all your support. <laughs> and I'll see you all again later. Bye for now, everybody.